Hello, uh, my name is Alexander, and uh, today I'm going to give a uh, wow. A uh, small spoiler. Today I'm going to give a philosophical talk uh, with a, a very ambitious, uh, ambitious title. And uh, first, let me give a small introduction. Uh, the talk is going to be based on this book, which I read uh, a few years ago. A book is unfortunately in, Rus in Russian, therefore I won't be able to share it with you. Uh, and uh, the book is by Georgi Shedrovitsky. It's actually like a transcript of his lectures, which he gave in uh, sometimes in the 80s. And uh, the lectures are on uh, organization management. But uh, in his book, he's also talking a lot on the subject of problem solving. And uh, there are a few ideas which I picked up in the book and I didn't find anywhere else uh, during my career. And these ideas were very helpful in my career. And therefore, I decided it's going to be worth sharing. Uh, so today, I'm going to share my favorite quote of the book. Uh, and the quote goes, the essence of solving a problem is to find a language uh, in which the solution is going to be obvious. Uh, let's just think about it a bit. Uh, the first part uh, is kind of straightforward. As software engineers, we are working a lot in different abstractions, uh, abstraction levels, uh, in different, you can say, languages in certain sense. But uh, what really blew my mind is uh, that I should be aiming for an obvious solution with my language and shouldn't settle for anything less than that. Uh, and uh, this... Uh, has several implications which came to my mind, and uh, I'll try to share a few of those. Uh, so the first one, and what actually encouraged to get me on stage, uh, is uh, last year uh, Kate Gregory's talk on uh, simplicity, uh, where she encourages to learn uh, your language better and all the tools available to you. And I want to extend this list with not only idioms, but design patterns, and uh, then you can say uh, architectural patterns or application design patterns and uh, so on and so on. Those are all different languages, you can say. And uh, the more you know, uh, the better chances you have to find an obvious solution in one of them. And uh, if you haven't seen the talk, I really encourage you to go there. And also from this conference, uh, there was a great talk by Conor Hoekstra uh, on algorithm intuition. And I could say uh, out of this talk, I also uh, took away a new language uh, in a general sense, which made uh, a few things obvious for me. And uh, I appreciate the talk and also recommend you uh, to catch up on it if you haven't seen it uh, on Monday. Uh, change in subject. Uh, another thing I realized from this Shadrovitsky principle of uh, searching for a language with an obvious solution is an answer to this question. And uh, it feels like it should be no, you don't need a university degree to become a software engineer, but still I didn't know why. And uh, my idea that what university gave to me and to many of, uh, other people who I know uh, who graduated from the unis is like diverse set of tools, diverse sort of these languages which allow you to start solving basic problems and then go further. And if you can acquire this uh, set of languages somewhere else, you don't need to go to university. That's like an interesting conclusion which I got also from this principle and wanted to share with you. And uh, now, concluding all of this, I want to encourage you to do two things. First, learn more languages, and uh, therefore you'll have more solutions to your problems by Shedrovitsky principle. And another important thing is to share the languages uh, among each other, because uh, software engineering is a collaborative work in general, and uh, therefore First, you can help others to solve their problems. Sometimes you need not to learn the language or teach the language, but to invent a language in order to exchange the ideas and therefore make your solution obvious for somebody else. Uh, and uh, with all of this, together you will be able to achieve more by working on uh, the languages you know and you use. And uh, yes, as a conclusion, uh, don't settle for anyth anything else than an obvious solution. Thank you. <laughs>